Hello, everybody. Lance here yet again. And I just want to discuss about a man who... Well, I'm pretty sure you know him. You're probably going to expect it. Because despite that, despite that giving this man more credit than he deserves, makes him feel more in love with himself than he can ever possibly imagine, and that, sure, doing this video and complaining about him isn't going to change the fact that it's going to give him more airwaves, more people who are going to vlog to his video, not because they enjoy him, but that they are just merely giving him the attention he wants. I'm talking about Onision. Why do I care? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to say this out of thinking that I'm narcissistic as my as, as well. But I find myself to be a humble man. I don't. I when I make poetry, I don't usually expect it to be popular. I have a dissenting low uh, low self esteem. I don't even. I rarely even have the optim. I don't r usually feel a lot of optimism when I make my poems. I just make them and hope that, and just hope that they might be well received by people. And usually they do. But that doesn't make me usually feel. That doesn't usually make me feel better. It could in the temporary, in the short term, but it doesn't in the long term. I'm still. I'm still usually very unconfident about what I do, what what I'm writing about. I always feel like the more I keep writing, the worse I'm getting. Or that I just don't understand that my standards are changing as they go throughout poetry. I've been more calmer about it. I've been trying to get more analytical of my poems, where in, in earlier times I was more emotional and I was pretty straightforward about personal and emotional issues, but that was kind of like being a dead horse, and it was about my personal opinions, and it was just self-absorbing around me, and perhaps that's how I can say that, that's how I can say that I'm not narcissistic, but Nisi, on the other hand, really just loves himself so much. I would imagine that he would try to clone himself just so he could have sexual intercourse with himself. Not that he's gay, because apparently having sex with yourself is like masturbation, essentially. Even though it's another human being who also happens to be male. I'm not saying he's gay, and I'm not saying that it's wrong to be gay. It's just, that's the idea, is that he loves himself so much that he would do something like that. And the idea that the idea that he says that he's not above every anybody, yet he always contradicts pretty much everything he says at every every ch every chance he gets, he always contradicts himself. Like how he said, "Oh well, I made I've insulted myself plenty of times." Well, that's kind of funny to hear from him, considering that even people who have made criticisms about his viewpoints. He finds as as insulting him or stalking him. And by the way, Onision, I don't think you understand what a stalker is. A stalker would be someone who'd be like that one person who had sent you fake letters. That would be someone who would be technically stalking you, trying to trying who are, who is so obsessed with you, either love or hate, who would do something like that, that would have the drive to. When people make criticisms about you, and they are not, they would probably care less to see you. They don't want to be involved with you. They are making these videos about you. They're making these videos not to try to change you. Because obviously, you've already made the stance that you're not going to be changed. There's, there's, it's beyond help trying to change you now. Because you are so self-obsessed with yourself that you'll shun anyone who has even a smidgen of criticism. So, why do they do it? They do it for the people, for those mouth breathers who follow you. Because they know that those people can still be saved. They are, not, they are being put under the guise of your 
fake and contrived wisdom that you're giving false advice and you are leading people the wrong way such as saying that rape victims or uh, people who are obese it's their problem and all that and that's also a funny thing too how you like to say that everyone who's being legitimately victimized by outside sources is at their fault it's at their expense they're the ones who are causing that hate to happen and yet constantly do you put yourself in a little corner and say the people are picking on you oh god and that's merely point out your narcissism because you expect that when you make a video that no one needs to criticize it that there's no way that your logic and your reasoning and whatever you say out of your fucking mouth can be refuted that if somebody's refuting it they're just obsessed with you they're stalking you they want your fucking piece of ass because of that which is really not true you're not even using the term correctly you want to use that as a smear term as a like to say you like to use that because you know it's dramatic you know it's a dramatic term that is degrading and it's an evil term to use that you won't even bother to use in the right ways and in this whole concurrence of trying to hypocrisize everything you say and the people who do love you 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 like to you like to spread the truth and you love to spread the truth you spread it over like butter on a fucking piece of toast you spread it so far it's like a fucking 12 inch 12 inch from subway spread thin with butter or mayonnaise if trying to get the analogy I'm uh, saying here you want to accuse other people of these acclaims like you wanted to blame Mr. Repsion for that fake false letter because he's the one who's making legitimate claims because you know that's better that's easier for you to do than someone who is actually obsessed with you who probably might not who, who you assume might not actually have a point to a, a point to argue where you don't even like to you don't even want to go into the facts about it. you don't despite that you have so many people who hate you and you are constantly now gaining the drive to try to refute these claims even though you are still failing you are toppling over you're tripping over yourself most of the time when you're trying to refute these claims and putting people around these stupid contrived circles because you just love yourself so much you love to hear yourself speak you like the sound of your voice you like the sound of your you like the look of your face and I noticed something about how you um, show yourself in your videos I'm not actually watching your video so thank God for me or though not God because I'm not atheist uh, it's just a habitual thing to say that thank God for me but anyway I usually watch it from uh, the responses that people make on your videos and I noticed that despite you say that you make fun of yourself you make these effects these certain effects to your face you um, saturate yourself you make the conscious of black to white so that you look like you're a fucking godly figure it makes you look more uh, it makes you more superficial it makes you look um, divine that your skin is so white and it's so clear and clean as well as your hair is so pure black because that's the idea that's the idea that we're getting and the background is usually used out so the only thing you can really get an idea of is the features of him and he probably also makes video effects on his eye color to make him look bright and vibrant because he loves himself so much that even he has to focus on the video effects he has to make himself look pretty even when he's doing this on comedy uh, when he's making his little comedy sketches which most of them are offensive and by the way I going to make a I'm going to help with the suggestion that Mr. Repsion made about your claims about oh not offending rape like that one video you made about a mental a mentally disabled person who had a rape who what, that was your um, characterization of the person who was a mental re mentally retarded and had been raped 
and that they take it as if, oh, it's fine, because I didn't really have a lot of people to love, and that is just a fucking closed-minded opinion, and it totally breaks down, it totally, it totally destroys your validation to give people advice, but of course, since people are wanting advice from you, it makes you feel, it makes you more awesome, it makes you feel more loving of yourself, because you love to hear yourself talk. You probably make these videos, when you're making these videos, you just think of the orgies you're getting down your little, uh, two and a half centimeter little cock, and you splooge out, because you just, you're just getting so sexually pleasured by the own sound of your voice, that you probably have to make these videos in parts, so it's just a joke, uh, ideally. Anyway, and, and to point out the other time that you rape, you offended rape victims, such as with Puppy Love, which I haven't really seen the whole video, I only saw a clip of it. The other one had a very, very structurally sound reason how you offended rape victims. Why, then if, if I don't, if I don't, if I don't like your kind of attitude, how you like to, you like to adjust your, your website in a way which allows you to shun anyone who has a smidgen of criticism and then pretty much hug everyone else who's been blinded and, and manipulated with your little schemes, with your, you know, illegitimate uh, marriages to underage people where in Mexico for example and then you go on to say that oh well fat people can't control how they eat even though you like to control how people eat as well which is definitely contradictory like I said every sentence you make is a contradiction it's like it's like nothing you say has any solid proof because it it it, it, it it goes against what you do. What you say is not what you do. Pretty much, that's that's how you work. And why should I? Why should I make this video? I I asked Mr. Repson when I had watched his video about the file follow of Onision several other times before. I am pretty passionate for the kind of for the kind of shit that you're bringing out on these people. I feel that I'm not saying that it's somehow within my ground it's not within my grounds to give the, it's not within my grounds to give these points out for the better of everyone else because no one asked me to no one asked me to I I just felt passionate about I felt passionate about trying to destroy your vision or your image but I know that this video will get people noted. It, they'll have more people who don't need to know about this narcissistic little psycho that you are. You are, but I still nevertheless did it. I felt the need to. I felt that in my in my experiences with having to deal with blaming myself and the whole eating habit, I mean, I sometimes have an uncontrollable and usually unhealthy eating habit, yet I am still skinny. It's fast metabolism, but I know that eventually at one point that metabolism can't save me from everything. That I... And I seem to relate. I seem to relate. There, the idea that there are a lot of idiots out there. There's a lot of... There's a lot of radical people, narcissistic people who will... Sh who will shut up and try to sh silence anyone who even has the smallest little dash of criticism to make. And in that, in, in, in this specific uh, state with you who makes, who, you know, likes to debate a sock when somebody says no, you try to disregard and neglect your wife while at the same time abusing her because she's a fangirl and you like her skinny and you like her tight and skinny and young it's good to know that there are some people I found some people who actually had reason who actually took criticism 
legitimately as something that you can build upon. Because not all criticism is not all criticism is destructive. There is constructive criticism. Because like with the amazing atheists and Repsion, they make these criticisms because they hope to change you. They hope to make well not to change you in a bad way. They want you to be a better person overall. To not to not not gleam in this idea that you can you can do whatever you want and there's not gonna be any repercussions. That you just love yourself so much. And that whoever whoever doubts that has to be silenced, that they have to be argued against, that they cannot say what they want to say about you because you know you can get away with it. These people are reasonable. They don't want they don't call you a bitch or a faggot. They don't call you insults. They know they know the details of of your psyche. They know the details of how you view yourself and you view yourself in this godlike fashion that vegans are vegans will make you a better person or that vegans just vegans is a choice for everyone that that this vegan this vegan thing is just something that you made that you decided to do because you thought it would make yourself look better and that is an immoral thing to do because whether or not you're vegan or not it's beyond me I'm fine with that I eat meat all the time and oh yeah you're gonna be very offended by this I eat meat all the time and I got a burger in the kitchen right now that I could eat right now it's a turkey burger by the way it's very delicious and you know why I do this it's not because I believe that veganism is something that makes me cooler it makes me more hip it's just how I like to live I don't need to I don't need to get that get something to make myself look cool and you're the one who is allowing you yourself are pretty much saying to the fans it's fine to be ignorant and narcissistic and try to cling on to materialistic pleasures and even convert with underage women you are even you are even making the point that it's fine to manipulate women to manipulate women into losing weight and being anorexic that is just toxic that is just fucking bullshit to me and to many others and it's very glad for me that I can finally I can finally sit around with some people who actually want to have a discussion with me not a four-year-old who goes around in a corner and yells at the top of his lungs because no one wants to agree with he, with your ridiculous statements. That's how you deal with your situations. If you can't get what you want, you scream like a little baby until you get what you want. I don't want to associate myself with a child. This is going to be the only video I'm going to make of you. And it's the first. It's the first video I've made about you. I'm just pointing out that in your in your grace your so-called grace and your and your vision and your image and your enlightenment it's good to know that I in doing so I make myself better as a person that I don't believe that this moron believe in anything that this moron is trying to is trying to uh, trying to say that I wasn't a victim of Onision. And being a victim of Onision probably is a lot worse than all, uh, perhaps all, uh, perhaps even being a victim of rape. Because he's saying that's your fault. You're reinforcing the idea that it's fine to get raped because it's always going to be your fault. No, well, it's always his fault. He doesn't want to admit he's wrong. So, very contradictory. So I would like to say thank you, Onision. Thank you for making me feel just a little bit smarter and being around people who are also wanting to trying to trying to expand their knowledge and try to suppress their ignorance around little children who need to be disciplined like you. So thank you.